We had never previously known of an instance in which um, bird flu had moved into um, cattle. And so, uh, uh, I don't know, I, think, I want to say about several weeks ago, um, we saw the first case um, in which um, there was evidence that an individual contracted bird flu, but that individual's exposure history was um, was through a cattle reservoir, so it was through, through cattle and that being actually a dairy cow. And um, so consequently, there was concern really in two different areas. One is, is um, why has this virus trend, uh, um, been able to jump species? We call this jumping species um, uh, um, into cattle. And then secondarily, is this going to pose any kind of a risk to humans? People shouldn't be worried about um, our milk supply. And there's really three major reasons. The first is, is that farm management um, prevents any milk from diseased animals going in, into, um, into the raw milk, okay? Um, secondly, um, even if there was a small amount that went into the raw milk, it would be diluted out because you're mixing milk from many, many different cows. And thirdly, really more, most importantly, is, is, is that we pasteurize our milk and pasteurization um, inactivates or kills this virus. The other really major reason that people shouldn't be concerned about the food supply is because this is not a virus that is transmitted by foodborne routes. In other words, you shouldn't be able to get sick by eating food that contains this virus.